What's up, fam? Y'all ready to get started? I know it's that time of the day. What we told the ancestors. I'm going to give artesian water one more try. Actually, two more try. So we're going to sample this Fiji water and talk about a few things, all right? See you in the second family. Stick around for the show and take the challenge. Stop playing. Let's build. Peace. Peace, y'all. We're about to go down this morning, right? We got us some Fiji water. We're about to drink it up. And then we're going to toast real quick. So bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. It's time to toast. All right, get your water. Get your water. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got a little bit more today. I have... 1.05 quarts that's a, I guess that's a quarter of a gallon I don't know right so a gallon is like a hundred twenty ounces so a quarter of a hundred and twenty would be thirty so this is about thirty ounces see what's going on here all right don't smell nothing because mm, I heard a lot about this Fiji water let's see Still, I I still like to steal. Let's. Maybe it's because maybe it's because it's early in the morning. I don't know. Dude. Yeah, I mean, this don't make me want to go to Fiji. I mean, I be, I, people be, you know, I heard people praising this water. I mean, it's, it's all right, but I like to steal better. Maybe it ain't because I ain't got it at room temperature, you know. I left it in the car last night. Paid a lot of extra money. I feel like I might have got robbed. Hey, let's see. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm drinking the whole thing, y'all. But Sheila, I hope you out there hydrating. Make sure y'all text somebody today. Tell them to hydrate. If you got any hand sensors you want me to mention, please type them up. Ooh. 
Alright fam, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Those on Facebook, those on YouTube. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm kinda in the middle. I'm not I'm not impressed. You know. I paid an extra dollar for that. You know what I'm saying? Not impressed, excuse me. Not impressed at all. Now we're about to get to the start of the show and start toasting. Get this toast started off right. Let's see if we got something popping off here. Yeah. This is that um, ginseng. Very, very mature. Now, um, I gave one of my one of my young brothers, one of the warriors in the fam, I gave him some mature ginseng. I gave him what I was called Great U Great Great Ujima. Great Ujima. I forgot. Yeah, it's Great Ujima, right? I gave my little brother some mature ginseng, but this right here is that mature, mature. Now you got the beat, you got the screws. I keep on when you start getting the gallons from me, and I'm not shipping the gallons. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all getting the bottles. I'm not shipping the gallons. You have to come get this. If it's outside of Columbus, you you get the black bottles, right? I I don't know what I don't know what it is about the water. I, I think it's the name. See, this is what I keep telling y'all: it's the story you tell, right? You know what I'm saying? It's the story, right? You can have almost anything you want if you could tell a proper story, right? Look, look, look listen. The soft taste of solid rock. The distinctive taste of Fiji water is years in the making. That's how long it takes tropical rainfall to filter through the ancient volcanic rocks and naturally acquire the silica that gives Fuji its soft, smooth taste. Sourced from a sustainable underground aquifer, it's untouched by man until you unscrew the top. If it's untouched by man, how the hell are you getting the bottle? You know what I'm saying? The, 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 I'm just asking, right? But it's the story. See, we got to understand how important stories are. I keep telling y'all, that's your magic, your story, right? If you want a dude or you want a woman, do your story. Package yourself right. Y'all think it's all about dressing up and all. It's the story. People have been intrigued by stories for centuries. Tell your story. All right. Woo. But like I was saying, I gave my brother Shamar. Shouts out to Shamar if he out there with you. Right? He got that. And I threw some extra ginseng in it because he young. Don't hurt nobody there, young boy. Don't you hurt nobody. Right? You know what I'm saying? So he got twice as much ginseng as I got. So it's going to be super bitter. I just... Oh. But what it's going to do for him, right? Because we're going we gonna, to we gonna talk about ginseng. We're going to talk about ginseng, right? But it, not today. But we're going to talk about the power of ginseng, all right? So we're going to toast these ancestors, y'all. Right? First, toasting that creator. The one that made us all. The one that flows in each and every last one of us. We ask that energy to, to, to continue to bless us. To we thank that energy for allowing us to wake up this morning, and we say, "I say." From there, we move on to our personal ancestors. We toast them. We lift them up. We remember them, right? We tell their stories, right? Okay, thank you. Um. We we toast we toast their stories. We remember them, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our aunts, our uncles. At this time, you could lift up your glass, salute your personal ancestors. Take a moment. All right, from there, from there, we move to this moment, right here, right now, because this is all we have. Ujima, right? Um, cooperative economics. We toast this day and we say. 
I say. From there, we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Like I said, everything we building now, it affects them. Everything we building now, they're going to inherit. So the, the question I have, what are your great-grandkids going to hear from you? What are they going to get from you? What are you leaving? What ideas are you putting on the table for them? What discussions are you having with your children now that your, ch your, your children will be able to have with their grandchildren? Are they going to remember you? We toast them in advance so they can toast us and we say, I say. And this is for any special endeavors that you got going on out there, any issues that you need covered by the ancestors. We toast and we say, I say, I say, I say. I wish y'all peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Woo, that after kick. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. It's right on the verge of going to vinegar, but it's don't want to go to vinegar yet, right? I drunk it all the way down. I, I'm not supposed to be doing my ginseng like that because I have people who want the ginseng. But Brother High Tim got to have some ginseng in his life every now and then. All right. All right. So, uh, Facebook, I want to thank you for joining us. I'm about to go and finish my 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 morning show um, for my people on uh, YouTube. Now, I want to thank those of you that support me because from Facebook, I'm getting a lot of people that's at least looking at the Goose Saga Challenge. But stop looking. Go and sign up for it, right? It's free. If you want to give, you can. You don't have to. It's free. You go on and download it right because it takes time for you to get all the information so you don't want to you don't you don't you don't sign up for it and jump right into the challenge right you sign up for it you get the information you review the information you decide on what things you're going to work on during the challenge right you put your calendars together you get everything together then that emoji when you're ready you shoot off into it right this is you got. This is research based. This is personally research based. So, I right, want to thank Facebook. I'm out. Peace out, Miss Sheila. All right. So now it's us, fam. How y'all doing? I want to send shots. I want to thank those out there for the support. I want to thank you for the comments because I'm going through them and I'm loving them. All right. So now let's do this. We're gonna knock these. Knock, knock, knock out what we supposed to do. All right, fam. Here you go. Um, the day is Ujma. Cooperative economics. For those that don't know, the Maya principle is reciprocity. The M seven principle is gratitude. The Hermetic law is polarity. Um, the male name is Yao, the female name is Ya. Alright? So, let's just do our medicine and then we're going to get into the discussion for today. So, um, I'll be aware, we're going to have a talk about the African yam. We're going to talk about the African yam. I just want to make sure I got a, a, a big old yam up here, right? So, I had time to go get one. We're going to have an actual yam here. I'm going to interview the yam. Yep. They talk. Just letting you know. Oh, you going to want to see that one. Right? Yams are very intelligent and they talk. So I'm going to have an African yam. He's going to be about that big. He's going to be on the show. And he's going to be talking. Okay? Tell your friends. Alright? Because I don't know why nobody never interviewed the African yam before. But since nobody did it. First interview for African Yam is going to be right here on the show. All right? Yeah. All right. So, um, we're going to start off with a coconut oil. All right? The 
weather is kind of, it's kind of, you see the weather, it, it, how slow it's moving, but it's still moving though, all right? It's kind of chilly, right? So here we go. All right, remember, that fat energy, burn it up, burn it up. All right, cool. Now let's move to the palm oil. Black seed. Let's go on and do it. You know I gotta do something with y'all that's kind of slow and dramatic. Since I can't sound got time to work out no more. I mean at least work out with y'all. It's too long. I'm working out there. Alright. Nothing heavy, nothing intense. Too intense. But enough to keep my energy flowing, right? You know, because I'm getting older. All right. All right. What we need to talk about today, right? Cooperative economics. So, as I said on my show last night, I was, I've been studying a lot of things, right? Um, Y'all know I like folk tales and stuff. So, I've, I've been reading uh, this dude by the name of Neil Gaiman. Right, Neil Gaiman is a, 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 a storyteller, really, really when it comes down to it. And he's taking folk tales, he's taking myths, and he's developing new material from them. Great, great stuff, right? So, I, you know what I'm saying, if anybody's looking for a good read, you know what I'm saying? Check out some of his stuff, right? Anyway, I'm going through that. And I'm, 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 I'm just doing my you my usual floating on YouTube, checking out different stuff, looking for more information so I can share, share with you, looking for new inspiration, uh, new topics to hit, right? And um, I'm, I'm going through and um, listening to the book, but then I turn on my man Amos Wilson, right? Listen, those of you that's taking the goose to the challenge. You got to listen to some Amos Wilson, right? You got to listen to some Amos Wilson, right? So Amos Wilson was talking about unproductive behaviors, right? And since we are on cooperative economics, I thought it would be appropriate for us to take the moment to talk about some unproductive behaviors, right? Personally, right? As as individuals that's 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 taking the challenge, as individuals that's getting up toasting, whether you getting up in the afternoon or whether you doing this at, at at another time, you're taking some time to to at least look at where you need to go in your life and you're trying to develop the behaviors that'll help you get there. But one of the things I want each of us to be honest about, and this will have to be a long one this morning. I'm going to keep this under 30 minutes, believe it or not. Just took a couple minutes telling you I was going to keep it under 30 minutes. I'm so proud of myself. Pat myself on the back. Listen. Now, we all have behaviors, right, that take away from our productivity. And I know some of y'all like, but I tell you, I can't, it can't always be about just being but it can't be always about, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got to live my life. And yo, it's your life, right? And you do with it as you will. It's your life. I don't know why this thing keeps rising up. It's your life. But the thing we got to be honest about is we have productive behaviors and we have unproductive behaviors. And a lot of unproductive behaviors are designed are designed and come about because we're trying to avoid pain. We're trying to avoid suffering. But these unproductive behaviors are nothing but delays. And I'm just saying, right, 
that any of us that want to be successful with something, any of us that want to make changes, we are going to have to deal with some pain. We we'll have to deal with some struggle. So we got to be honest with ourselves, right? So part of the journal, uh, uh, well, I got, I'm, I'm pulling from a journal right here, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to figure out how to make one of these for for those that's, you know, um, for the 21 week, right? Those that's willing, that's willing to jump in and see how deep we could go, right? Um, to talk, and you know, to, to write down some of my unproductive behaviors, right? Be honest on here. What are some of the unproductive behaviors? Like, share one of the unproductive behaviors that you have on the timeline and the discussion piece down here. Right? So we can start being honest, right? If you don't want to share it on YouTube, right? You know those that are on the Goose Cyber Challenge, we got our own little um we got our own little community on um Facebook. We got a private page. You share on the private page. I'm gonna share um one of my unproductive behaviors, right? Share unproductive behavior, right? And then what are your plans on finding a way to make it productive? Right? And what do you mean unproductive behavior? Right, unproductive behaviors, um, over sexing, over drinking, over smoking. You know what I'm saying? Or just just doing those things too much. Um, um, TV. Um, we 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 get caught up in things that don't really add to what we're going. Right? Because the whole piece is. At one point in time, in order for us to survive, we had to apply our whole selves to make it, right? It, 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 when we were, in a sense, more connected with nature, you know what I'm saying? Our lives was an obstacle course, right? If we were hunting, if we wanted extra meat, we had to get out and get it. We had to be focused out there, right? You know what I'm saying? So... Many of us fall off into these unproductive behaviors because we can. And it's sort of like we have fallen for the trap of modernity. And we believe that all this is benefiting us. But the fact of the matter is that it's, it's, a, um, it's a bait and switch, right? So it's like while you're focused on this unproductive behavior, other things are being taken from you, right? Unproductive behaviors eat up the, one of the major resources that you have, and that's your time, right? It eats up your time, fam. So we need to start finding ways to get all of our behaviors to start guiding us towards the point where we want to be. How many How many unproductive behaviors does the sun have, a star of it? In the universe have? How many unproductive behaviors does the earth have? Hell, how many unproductive behaviors do some of these animals have out here in the wild? You know, and I know some of y'all like, well, they play. Yeah, they do. But even their playing is preparing them for their life. They they playing running. You know what I'm saying? Squirrels got to run. Shit. Squirrels are out there running because it's just fun. Yeah, they having fun. They practicing getting away from a damn predator. Right? Are you practicing getting away from a predator sitting on the couch? Watch the TV? Are you practicing getting away from a predator? You know, holding a 40 ounce or holding, you know what I'm saying? I mean, all the time? Are you practicing uh, practicing getting away, you know, with a bag of chips? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Let's get productive. Let's start building. Let's build up ourselves. All right? Remember the five, six, seven. What's that? Tell me. What's that one? Huh? Right? What's that one? Right? What's that one? Huh? What, what's that one? Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't take care of those, that's exactly what you get. Right? When you don't take care of this one, you know what I'm saying? Everything falls and it gets real bad. Right? What's that one? And what's that one? All right, that's the five. What about the six? What are the six? Right? What are they? Let's run through them, right? We have, what is it? Peace, power, joy, mad, 
sad, scared. When we recognize those, we can hone those emotions so it'll guide the five, empower the five, right? Turn them into a fist so that you can put them right into the face of those that's trying to stop you. But of course, they are guided by the seven, which are Moja, Kuchak, Leo, Jimo, Jama, Nia, Kaumba, Mani. Those principles, right? Which guide our day. Because each day we wake up looking for a principle, do we not? So, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim saying thank you for tuning in, right? Thank you for building with me. Thank you for the comments. Continue giving the comments. Thank you for the support. You know what I'm saying? And those of you that support, know, know and be, know as sure as the sun rises that you will be getting that ambrosia, right? Because not everybody that's, 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 that's donating, you know what I'm saying? You're giving that ambrosia. Now, if you live out of state, you know, you already know, y'all got to take care of that shipping and handling. All right. I can't afford that, right? But know that it's some ambrosia being brewed for you. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to brew this weekend. All right? So, this is Brother I Tim saying peace, power, joy. In 100 years, I'm out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.